So today I'm going to teach you about the differences between past simple, past continuous, also known as uh, past progressive, and past perfect. And I'm going to do this by telling a story about myself. So we have the three different past tenses here, past simple, past progressive, and past perfect. I'm going to teach you the differences by telling you a story and using a timeline. So I'm just drawing a timeline down here. So here's my timeline. This arrow at this end is now or the present. And this blue dot that I'm going to put down at this end is 2008, which was a special year for my husband and I because that's the year that we uh, moved to Argentina. So you see the ED at the end there. That's the year that we moved to Argentina in 2008. And now I'm going to put some green on the timeline here. This green right here, you can see, this green is when I was living in Argentina. I was living, as you can see that's our past continuous or past progressive. I was living in Argentina and I'm going to put a couple dots on there uh, of some important things that happened while I was living in Argentina. I taught. There's our past simple and irregular. I taught. I made friends. I made friends and I drank a lot of wine. This is important because you may see it has something to do with the next thing that happened. So in 2010, this dot right here, Paul and I moved back to the United States. So we returned to the United States in 2010. You can see that's our past simple still. So we returned to the United States in 2010. Uh, just about a month or two after we returned, we realized that sometime back here, my husband and I realized that while I was living in Argentina, I had gotten pregnant. And there's our past perfect. So you can see it's an action in the past that happened before another action. So I had gotten pregnant before we returned to the United States. So that's when we use the past perfect, is when an action in the past happens before another action. So let me just give you some tips here. <clears throat> Generally, um, past simple is the most common. We use past simple about 60% of the time. Past progressive or past continuous is the next most common, probably about 30% of the time. And then past perfect is our least common past tense. It's about 10% of the time. So you can see if you're unsure, you should probably use uh, your past simple if you're unsure. Of course, uh, past simple, you're going to have your ED ending or your irregular verbs. Now your irregular verbs you have to do by memorization and practice. Uh, there's no other way. Um, so your regular is an ED ending and irregular verbs that you have to do by practice. Uh, past progressive is was or were with your verb ending in an ING. You have that ING ending there. You can see was living. Well, I was living in Argentina, I taught, I made friends, and I drank a lot of wine, which may have led, in the end, to the reason I had gotten pregnant. So you can see here, past perfect is had plus your past participle.
So had gotten. I hope that explains the past tenses a little bit more and uh, join us at LOI English. Uh, we can also offer you a class.